Good evening. Isn't it great when there's no television commercials it's, and no recording? Everyone's just so loose. So everyone put your phones down and stop recording. <laughs> What's going on? All right. Integrity, intellect, grace, authenticity, humor. These are all qualities that are definitely not essential to being a success in this business. Sometimes they may even get in the way. But occasionally there is someone who manages to hold on to all of these in such a brilliant way, and that is Natalie Portman. I first worked with Natalie Portman in 1998 on Anywhere But Here. She was just a teenager then. I was a bad mother. She tolerated me and was brilliant. 20 years later, I can't believe it, Natalie has taken on the role of a mother and wife to John F. Kennedy. She's also taken on the role of a mother and a wife in real life, but they didn't put that there. Anyway. She's in Pablo Lorraine's, Lorraine's, Lorraine's stunning account of Jackie Kennedy's struggle with her sudden grief in Jackie. Natalie's transformation as an actress has been transfixing. We saw her as a precocious young girl in The Professional, as a blossoming teenager in Anywhere But Here, and Garden State, and as a ballerina, reaching for adulthood in her Academy Award-winning performance in Black Swan. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly 25 years have passed since her screen debut, and today Natalie wears the hat of writer, director, and producer of her new film, A Tale of Love and Darkness in addition to being one of Hollywood's most intuitive actresses. So let's just say she's been in this business that long. She's never been busted for a DUI. She hasn't made the tabloids. Her parents are fantastic, and she's a great mother. I'd just like to add that as a sidebar, because to do both of these worlds is pretty amazing. And it gives me hope, especially for my children, who are also halfway in the business. So let's hear for her parents also. And she proves that you don't have to self-destruct after 20 years in this business. In Jackie, she accomplishes the high-wire act of emulating an icon as beloved as Jackie Kennedy, while bringing her own grace and humanity to the role. She gives a full-bodied performance that transcends our own preconceptions of Jackie Kennedy. Like Philip Seymour Hoffman in Capote, or Helen Mirren in The Queen, Natalie breathes new life into a celebrated figure known around the world. It has been a joy to see my screen daughter grow into the filmmaker, activist, wife, and mother that I see today. And even though I didn't write that, I absolutely agree with that. <laughs> Let's take a look now at her work in Jackie. Thank you, Susan. That was so kind of you. Um, I'm so lucky to have gotten to meet you so early on um, in my work life. And um, I think you showed me so early how filmmaking is political inherently. And um, we have obviously heard so many crazy things that have been said about women this year politically um, and to women. And I feel so lucky to be part of this film that is about a woman who was maybe known first for being a wife, um, first to Kennedy and then to Onassis, um, but then really became someone who could be recognized on, on their own merits just, just as Jackie. And, um, and I think it's really incredible, an incredible opportunity and unfortunately a rare opportunity in our industry to get to portray a woman so complicated, have so many assets, aspects of her um, revealed, and to look at her humanity not as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter. She's not to be respected because of her relationship to a man, but because of her humanity and her, um, 
her, herself as, as a subjective desire, not an objective desire. And I salute the many men behind this film who um, we need, obviously need many female voices to tell stories, but it's also essential that the men who are telling stories consider women as complete human beings and not just in relationship to other men in films. And to have our producers, Mickey Liddell and Peachy Lemon and Darren Aronofsky and, um, and many others, actually Juan, Juan Larraín and <laughs> there's many producers on the film. And Darren, of course, who has been so generous with me um, throughout my career um, and my life um, in, in giving me these, these complex um, women uh, to portray. And, um, and Pablo Larraín, the director, who is uh, just a phenomenal person. And again, was telling the story of a human being, not a woman. And I think that's, that's a real rarity, unfortunately. And to Fox Searchlight, Nancy and Steve, who are um, wonderfully taking on a, a this, this movie on a, a journey. And, um, and to the Hollywood Film Awards, so kind of you. I really appreciate being in a room with so many people I admire and respect so much. Thank you.